Hey class, so we're back. And in this video, we are going to be exporting our model from Maya to Substance Painter. First, we wanna make sure that we have deleted history and freeze transformations on both our low and our high resolution models. It's completely optional and I don't show it, but if you have problems baking, it's a good idea to smooth the low resolution model once. And if you haven't already smoothed quite a bit on your high resolution model, you could do that twice. Next, before we export each model, um, we want to go to mesh display and soften edge on each. If you have a very specific hard edge that you want to keep, you can also go to mesh display harden edge. Next, we're gonna export selection. So select each model and export each as an OBJ. So then we'll have the underscore low as an OBJ and an underscore high. Next, we're going to create a new project in Substance Painter, um, open the low as our new model, and choose Direct X option for B Unreal Engine. Then we're going to bake our texture maps of the high resolution model onto the low, and then we'll fix any baking problems problem in, probably in the next video. Okay, let's get started. So I have my model. I have my low and my high, they're on two separate layers, so I can just make them visible now. I'm going to assign a new material to each and choose AI standard surface. So this is technically optional right now, but um, it is kind of good practice to assign a new material. And then I'm going to go to my high resolution model and assign the same mod same material. So this one has, this is my low and it has the AI standard surface. I can change the color or the name on it. So let's just call this AI spaceship. And you wanna make sure that you're assigning the exact same material to both. Cool, so now I have this nice little gray color and I'm gonna to go to my high resolution model, right click, assign existing material, and choose that AI uh, spaceship. Cool. All right, so um, delete history, freeze transformations using those little buttons. I'm gonna do it on all the different parts here, just to make sure that there's nothing going on. Then I'm gonna to go to mesh display, soften edge. Now there is that option for harden edge, but I would only do that on select edges. With my model still selected, I'm just going to go to export selection, and then make sure that you're choosing file type OBJ export, and then click export selection. Um, I've already done this in the video, so or I've already done this prior to this video, so I'm just gonna do the same thing again and overwrite that file. So delete history, freeze transformations on my high resolution model. Go to mesh display, soften edge. With just my high res model selected, I'm gonna export selection. And this time I'm gonna call it spaceship underscore high. Make sure I've got OBJ selected and export this one as well. Cool. So now I have two models, one with low res and one with more detail, and we're going to bake the detail from the high res onto the low res in Substance Painter. So let's move over to Substance Painter and go to File and New. Um, one thing you can do is if you find that you have pink shaders, you're going to need to change that shader ball to PBR metallic roughness. All right, so I'm gonna do new project, select um, my low resolution model. I'm gonna give it a document resolution of 2048, but you could go 4K if you like. For my normal map format, I'm choosing direct X and compute tangent space normal because I would use this in Unreal Engine. If you'd use it in Unity, then don't select those options. 
All right, and I'm just gonna hit OK, and that will bring in my low res model. For the UV tiles, since I only have one texture and everything fits into one UDIM, I'm just gonna leave it and not use that option. All right, and so this is what my low res model looks like. And you can see on the left, we have our 3D model and on the right, we have our UVs. So we can paint on either side. Before we get to any painting, we need to go to our texture set settings, scroll down and bake our mesh maps. So you can click that or you can also go into the mode and bake mesh maps. That's the other way to get there. Cool, so you can see my standard surface Main thing you need to change is your mesh map size. So 2048 is good. If this is going to be a signature piece, you can increase that as well. Dilation width is important if you have um, seams showing, but you probably don't need to crank it up that much. Next, we're gonna select our high definition mesh um, and change the max frontal distance of our bake so that we're not seeing any red on the right hand side here. Now there is a little bit of an issue with this bake that we'll fix in the next video. Um, Anti-aliasing, depending on the strength of your computer, you want either four or 16. Match mesh by, I always choose by mesh name. I think it's nice. Um, if you changed your low poly mesh suffix, so maybe you used a capital H for high, you would wanna change these underscore low underscore high here. And then if you scroll down to all of the different individual mesh map options, you can crank up your secondary rays and crank up your um, secondary rays in the curvature map, and that will increase quality. Generally, if your computer is not very strong, keep these settings to regular until you know that your mesh is baking properly. And then you can um, go ahead and crank up and do like an hour long bake. I'm also adding a height map and an opacity map um, just by selecting those options and then hitting bake selected textures. All right, and you're gonna see, I sped this up a bit, um, but it is going to go through and bake all of my individual texture maps, which is really nice. Okay, so I have sped up this bake um, by six times. My computer is quite strong, um, but you can see all of the individual texture maps as they're baking. When it's done, you can select return to painting mode and we can see what we've created. So I can um, click on this assets tab and it should maybe double click on it to hide that and I can also go to just 3D view and you'll see the detail for the extrusion on the wing as well as the two kind of round pieces that I added are there but there are some issues with the top of this model so I'll address that in a next video hopefully your bake went a little smoother and you can go and move forward with texturing